Hi, I'm here with Margaret and Leander. Today we're going to talk a little about the software aspects of many cores. So Margaret, Leander, tell me, what are we doing from a compiler perspective? How are we making software more optimized for our processors. You know, I just wrote a blog about compilers and really stressed the point that with compilers we need an open compiler where people can really see the optimizations we're doing and can really utilize those optimizations. We don't want a compiler where the optimizations are hidden, that we're not being fair and transparent about what we're doing, and that we're only optimizing to make benchmarks win. Uh, what do you think about compilers in the world of applications? Though? Yeah, so obviously we work with a lot of partners, right? Uh, and we work with each of these compiler vendors to make their compiler better and optimize those for AMD platforms. Now, your comment about an open compiler is interesting. So Open64, which is one of those open compiler projects, is something that we're putting a lot of emphasis behind. We're spending a lot of time optimizing that for our hardware, enabling all the multi-threaded support, and so we're getting great results on that. We're also part of organizations like OpenMP, uh, so this is a, a, an industry standards organization that's looking at how can we make it easier to parallel program these kinds of machines. And that support is in Open64 as well. You know, if you optimize the tools like OpenMP and the compiler, there's a whole wealth of software that can benefit from it because the software gets those uh, optimizations, that multi-threaded, all the hard work we put in to, to do that that level of optimization. And the By, compiler does it for you. That's right, the compiler does it. It's almost automatic. Exactly. <laughs> so, so Leander, you, a second ago you were talking about threading and the fact that we're now going to have 8 and 12 cores inside the processors. What types of applications do you see really taking advantage of that power? That's a great question. So. I think one of, there are a number of very interesting applications. One is the whole business analytics, right, which is a huge market, many multi-billion dollars, great compound growth uh, ratio. It's one of those apps where you can throw as many cores against as you want. Uh, virtualization, which of course is very near and dear to my heart, is a great application. It scales very well. You can start up multiple virtual machines. And if you look at our platform where we have 12 cores per processor, we've got four memory channels, we've got a great power envelope and an even better price point, right? These things are ultimately suited for virtualization as a workload. Uh, search is a great one, right? Search is one of those workloads where you keep your database all in memory and then you've got multiple threads just going at it as fast as they can. Uh, and then you've got the traditional ones, high performance computing, HPC, all those specialized workloads that people use to do gene folding, uh, all that medical kind of research, uh, database applications. So that realm is very well suited by MagnaCore as well. And we work um, with a, an active group of software developers that have software in these areas that Leander talked about and uh, people like Microsoft with Hyper-V, VMware with uh, uh, ESX. Uh, in, in, we, we see them welcoming the more cores, welcoming the larger memory footprints, uh, virtual machines that are more robust, more threads to carry. And the memory bandwidth. Yeah, the memory bandwidth, especially for things like database and, like you yeah. said, search. Uh, the combination of computational and memory for the BI, uh, that, that's just perfect. Yeah. And they're going to like cores a lot better than you know, tricks like SMT or things like that that don't really scale as well, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the challenge that you always have in a core is that you've got many components in the core where you can only have one thread active at a time. So if you have a core with multiple threads, that means they always stall. And so the, the speed up you'll see out of that is probably a factor of 1.2 to 1.3. And obviously, you won't have real cores for these things. So in that sense, 12 cores, right? 48 cores, if you think of a 4P commodity platform, is a great uh, uh, advantage of MagniCore. Great.